Advances in solar power technologies rely on measuring instruments like these. But how do we make sure they remain accurate wherever they are in the world? Leading solar power experts in Europe met up in Sicily to solve this problem. How much power does a particular solar cell produce? The answer isn't obvious. Sunlight changes with the geographic location and the time of day, affecting the energy output of solar units. But researchers need a common reference, and that's why they meet to adjust their instruments simultaneously at the same location every year. We do have various instruments from different countries, from different research institutes. And so they all come together, and they, they, they are now compared during this week. It's actually measuring the meter. Now, we cannot measure the meter like in Paris, but we use the sun as a meter. And so everybody is comparing to the same sun or the same meter. These simultaneous measurements allow scientists to produce so-called reference cells. These are small, high-quality solar cells with thoroughly examined characteristics. The overall intensity of the sunlight is taken into account, along with sunlight's spectral composition, which varies greatly throughout the day and across the globe. These small differences need to be eliminated, which is why we take these measurements in standard conditions, in an internationally approved way. These references are vital for the growing photovoltaic industry. In this multi-billion dollar market, tiny imprecisions in measurements can decide a company's success or failure. That's why photovoltaic manufacturers and suppliers meet with international researchers. These comparisons allow us to improve the methodology of spectral measurements, which is extremely important for our outdoor, real-life measurements of photovoltaic modules generating power. The European Solar Test installation at the EU Joint Research Centre uses sun simulators to produce affordable reference tools for the industry. Commercial solar panels can then be reliably tested and certified according to the common standards transferred from the sun-calibrated reference cells. We have them here in our Geräte installed. We bought these reference cells here, and now we use them to calibrate other standards. And we can always go back under the sun and check whether our standards remain correct. This is one of the world's largest sun simulators. Eleven powerful projectors throwing a blinding hot beam of artificial sunlight onto a full-size solar module, which acts as a reference point for factories to ensure the characteristics of solar panels can be trusted. We guarantee the measurement chain from the basic solar sunlight, which we saw measured at the beginning, through the transfer to secondary devices and into real products, give people trust that what they're purchasing, what they're investing in, is actually delivering what they want delivered, which is energy, to help them live, to help them run their homes, to help them be comfortable, to help their children.